at the Mensha Palace, the royal seat of His Royal Majesty Otumfo Osei Tutu II. This is where kings of the Ashanti Kingdom reside. To my left here is the official residence of His Royal Majesty. He has to be here at all times. Behind me is what they call Bojari. This is what the his Royal Majesty sits on is a day's race date, and um, derbes and funerals are organized at this particular ground. But of course, there's a bigger one where, when he has bigger functions like the Akwesi Day, he sits on. Now, Mensha Palace is steeped in a lot of royalty and history. This, my friend, wasn't the original residency of royal majesties. The original palace was in Edum, about three kilometers from here. Now the British, you would remember, occupied our country and at the time they occupied Ghana, their sense of greed was quite monumental to the extent that they demanded for the Ashantis to give them the golden stool which the Ashantis resisted and refused. What did the British do? They came in surreptitiously and abducted His Royal Majesty Prem Pede I in 1920. Initially, they took him to Cape Coast, and um, when the Ashantis plotted to go and fight and take back their king, the Brits decided to take him to Sierra Leone and subsequently to Seychelles, where they illegally held him in captivity for six years. They returned Prem Pede I to the Ashantis in 1926. Now, before 1926, they had completely demolished the palace that was in Edum here in Kumase. And um, when they returned him, obviously they had to, out of shame, construct a new palace for the king. But the Ashanti said, we aren't gonna take it for free from you because uh, you are full of tricks. No one knows what you could be plotting and scheming. So we, the Ashantis, out of pride, would pay in gold for the palace. So the Ashantis paid in gold for the palace that the British built. And that's how come the, the seat of the Ashanti kingdom is no longer in the doom where it originally was, but as a result of the destruction by the British, found itself here in Mensia. And what does Mensia mean? Mensia is a gathering of the people, or my Ancia gathering of the people. So this is where, that is how Mensia took its name. And um, this is where the king resides. He sits in state here. We're gonna see the other days that the king uses when he has bigger functions. The one that is called the Sumpi. But you, my friend, are watching the real travel show with me, Ras Mubarak, from Mensha Palace here in beautiful Kumasi. Behind me here is the Mensha Palace Museum. That is a King Prempe the First Museum. Now this is this exact structure that the British left for the Ashantis. They had built it with a view to use it as a compensation to the Ashantis for abducting King Prempe the First. But the Ashantis, with a sense of pride and a demonstration of power, decided they weren't gonna take it for free. So they paid for this with pure gold, my friend. Several ounces of gold is what paid for this building behind me. This is where King Prempe the First lived when he returned from exile from Seychelles in 1926. This is where King Prempe the Second also lived. This is where uh, King Opokuari the Second lived temporarily until a new residence was built and this place converted to a museum. Fascinating history, fascinating stuff from the Mensha Palace and um, it's happening on the Real Travel Show, a program that brings you the sights, the sounds, the cuisine, the history, 
and the culture. <laughs>